Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to request a CARSI project and a CARSI account. CARSI is organized um, such that primary investigators, that is anybody at UNM who is eligible to be a PI on a grant, creates projects and then creates accounts for uh, collaborators, graduate students, um, other team members, so that they can log into CARSI and use resources. So let's see how to do that. The first thing to do is go to carsi.unm.edu, scroll down to new users, and then request a project. There's several pieces to requesting a project, but it mainly boils down to providing a project description requesting the machines you'd like to associate with that project, and providing your own name and personal details. Um, we do ask that you read through um, the export control and data restriction section to make sure that you um, agree not to upload, for example, um, identifiable patient data or export controlled um, software or data. But assuming that that's all okay, you can read and scroll through um, our terms of use and continue. Primary investigators who already have projects at CARSI can create multiple projects. If that's the case, then you would search for your existing contact information. Otherwise, if you are entirely new to CARSI, you will insert your information as a new person. So let's go this route. Let's create a dummy project here. You'd enter in your own home department here. And of course, I'm entering in dummy information here just to show you what it might look like. Any UNM faculty, um, or as I said earlier, anyone eligible to be a PI for a UNM grant can create a project. Faculty who have a special status, as long as you can provide a um, certificate showing UNM faculty affiliation, you can create a, um, a project. Graduate students um, are not typically able to create projects, uh, and neither are postdocs. All right, so once we've created our new um, identification as a as a person at CARSI, we can create a new project. We ask you to fill in um, a relatively detailed uh, description of your project because that helps us identify which cluster your project would be best suited to. We pr um, provide reports on CPU usage um, and node usage for yourself and everyone else on your project for accounting purposes. And you can choose how often you wish to receive those reports. You can choose a type of project. For most people, a normal HPC UNM project is what you'll select. Um, we also have projects for classes and workshops. So we do host quite a few classes at, at CARSI. If you are creating a class project, um, parallel processing, scientific computing, computational chemistry, whatever it might be, um, please select the class rather than normal project. And then you'll select um, an NSF uh, code for your area of research. It's good if you know the computational requirements of your project to list them here. So for example, I might say I need a terabyte of RAM 
and 32 CPUs. And then we can create our project request. And that is it. Um, that now goes off to me to um, approve and then um, up to our director to sign off on new project requests. All right, let's look at how to create an account request. Uh, so once your project has been been um, approved, you can start adding people to the project as needed. Just by requesting a project, you automatically have an account created for you. Um, but if you have collaborators or students you'd like to create accounts for, you can go to request an account. It looks much the same. We ask um, everyone creating an account to abide by the rules about uh, data privacy. We're going to insert new information again. And your affiliation. Um, we're perfectly fine with um, non-UNM collaborators creating accounts at CARSI as long as they are under a UNM project. All right, now when you're creating an account, you wanna make sure that you associate a project with that account. Accounts can only be created under an existing project. Here is a project we can select, 2016124, a Swarm Robotics project. And then I can select the cluster I would like to use. So in this case, I'm gonna select Wheeler and how often I would like to receive reports about my usage and submit. And that's it. That account request has gone off to um, myself to, to review and um, approve. And then it goes up to the director for a final signature. The whole process takes a few days up to a week um, once your account has been created, we generate a welcome letter. That welcome letter includes the login name and password for the account. If you ever forget your, your password, we can reset it back to the password that's in that physical letter. Normally, we ask um, users to come and collect their letters. This video is being recorded during the COVID-19 uh, epidemic. And so at this time, we schedule a Zoom meeting with you and we communicate that login um, name and password to you through Zoom. All right. Well, that's the process for requesting um, projects and accounts at CARSI. As always, if you run into any trouble, please send an email to help at carsi.unm.edu. Goodbye.